What is going on everyone? My name is Colin. Welcome to the Pokey Office. In today's video, we are looking at May 2023 investing in sealed Pokemon product. I'm super pumped about this video because it's been a month since I did my last one. Crazy how time is flying. Can you believe it's already almost the end of May? Unbelievable. We have a new set in Paldea Evolved coming out right quick, which is super exciting. And some things from the Sword and Shield era that I'm pretty excited about that I'm looking to grab a couple more of before things are too late. Before we get started, I have a giveaway going on this week. I'm giving away a full art set of Brilliant Stars booster packs. Uh, so if you aren't entered to win yet, or even if you are, what you need to do to enter again in this video is subscribe to the video with bell notifications on, leave a comment letting me know what you think is gonna be a good investment for May 2023 sealed Pokemon products and then hit that like button because we're gonna be opening some packs at the end of the video and I need your good luck. So gonna flip the screen around and get to my takes on what you, I think you should maybe invest in 2023 of May. Okay, so starting off, we got Scarlet and Violet base set booster box. Now I know what you're thinking. Yeah, it just came out. People are already kind of bored of the Scarlet and Violet base set. It's got the silver borders to it. Uh, nothing too crazy for chase cards. However, look at this price, $104.23 is the market price on this booster box. Still well below MSRP. And I just wanna show you some data. Uh, I looked at in the last couple of days, we looked at Sun and Moon singles, um, but looking at the Sun and Moon base set booster box, this one, it's like, let's say a five to six year old booster box. I don't remember exactly the date it came out, but it's still going for $222 now and continuing to rise. There's nothing that special about the Sun and Moon base set either. Like there's some okay cards, but nothing too crazy. Seems like the base sets are always kind of just like middle to lower tier in the Pokemon world, especially the last couple eras of Pokemon. But then if we look at the Sword and Shield base set booster box, it's going for $291.29. Again, nothing too crazy in terms of like crazy good cards in this set. But if you want a surefire bet that these booster boxes are going to increase over time, I mean, Scarlet and Violet base set is where it's at right now. You can get it for not a crazy bad price. So looking back here, Scarlet and Violet base set booster box currently going for $104.23. Now, if you pretend like this is going to be a five-year investment for yourself, uh, looking back at the Sword and Shield base set and the Sun and Moon base set, well, they're both going for well over 200. So that's like doubling your money in three to five years. And I don't see any reason why Scarlet and Violet would be any different because yeah, there's still some cool cards in there. Like you got the uh, Gardevoir special illustration rare. You have the two Miriam cards. You have the Maridon, the Caridon special illustration rares. So there are some cool cards in here. Nothing too crazy fancy, but you also have the new era of Pokemon that people are gonna remember where it, the English cards switch from yellow to silver borders. So there's some crazy things happening here. Uh, and I don't think Scarlet and Violet is gonna get any cheaper, even though it's not my favorite set in the world. Okay, moving on. Speaking of new stuff, we got Paldea Evolved. It's coming out, I think June 9th. So it's like two weeks away as this video drops, which is super exciting. I actually think you can go to your local game stores today as this video comes out and you might might be able to find some pre-release stuff depending if your local game store has pre-release two weeks before the release date of this set is when pre-release stuff starts coming out so this is a pretty exciting time and right now i was checking on uh hobbiesville that's where i buy a lot of my stuff from and your pre-order pricing is right in that realm of $115 for a Paldea Evolved booster box. There's some really cool stuff in this set coming out. There's like the three starters. So the Fuecoco, the Sprigatito, and the Quaxley, along with their evolutions, all in illustration rares. They actually look really, really cool. So if you haven't looked at those yet and don't want to or don't care about the spoilers, I would highly recommend looking at those because they look really awesome. Again, it's one of those things like... Maybe pre-order pricing is a little bit more expensive than it might get, but it might also just stay there and then go up. So if you're looking at this as a sealed product investment, I would say that over the longer term, three to five years, this again is going to be as cheap as you're ever going to find this booster box. And they're like, 
I, I don't expect Paldea Evolve to be like a top tier booster box uh, set in uh, Scarlet and Violet, but I don't expect it to be a low tier one either because I think those starters along with their evolutions are actually going to be a really big hit. Speaking of new stuff, holy cow, this just came out from what I've seen. It dropped um, yesterday or today, depending on uh, when you're watching this. Obsidian Flame, the third set of Scarlet and Violet. And we've got the Charizard returning. Finally, we have the Terra Charizard. We have the Terra Tyranitar. Um, and I think there's a Terra Dragonite in here. It looks pretty friggin' cool, to be honest with you. Again, these pre-orders just dropped on like Hobbiesville on PokemonCenter.com. Um, so I think this, again... From my perspective, if you can get in at pre-order pricing, I buy from a few people who, if you pay up front for pre-order pricing, you get it for almost like the cost of the distribution cost. You're paying very little extra, which is fine by me because then I don't have to deal with all the extra crap and then I can get to get good pricing on my product. Okay, so Obsidian Flame, third set. I believe it's coming out in August. Uh, don't quote me on that because I could be wrong, but right around the end of the summertime is when this set is slated to release. Look at this too. The Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box exclusive uh, with the Charmander on there. This literally might be my favorite Elite Trainer Box of them all. It looks really, really cool. I love Charmander. Could argue that he's my favorite Pokemon. And check out this promo card that you get in this Elite Trainer Box. The Charmander looking out the window with all the Pidgeys in there. I mean, literally, this captures Charmander's um, essence. I don't know what else word to call it, but it's amazing. It's like, let me out. I need to go catch these Pidgeys. <laughs> I don't know. But I think that is like a super cool card. I actually really enjoy the fact that these new Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes, I think even the regular ones, uh, come with a promo card. I think that's really cool. The Pokemon Center exclusive ones have that Pokemon Center badge on the card, which, uh, based on the Scarlet and Violet Pokemon Center exclusives, made that card go from like a $3 card to a $20 card. So actually added quite a bit of value to these Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box exclusives. Okay, moving on. We're into Chilling Rain. I have always been high on Chilling Rain. It's like it gave me my first big pull on the channel. I pulled the gold Snorlax out of Chilling Rain, which was absolutely incredible. And I also think that this set is just has so many good cards. Um, I don't think it's like a top tier set of uh, Sword and Shield, just because the pull rates are pretty tough. But I do think it's like a middle to upper tier class of Sword and Shield. So I looked back and here's two kind of comparisons. Take it with a grain of salt, because I didn't look all that hard but I think you could kind of compare it to like an Ultra Prism or a Lost Thunder. So take a look at this Ultra Prism booster box from Sun and Moon. This is like a four-year-old booster box uh, currently sitting at $429 and continuing to rise, especially because of that Lily card, which is like a 300 something dollar card, which we looked at on Wednesday's video. Um, but there's a lot of good cards in Ultra Prism. It has quite a few cards that are worth like $50 or more and a lot of cards that are worth $30 or more. Uh, I had to cut my video short on Wednesday because there was just too many cards to check out. Okay, then we got Ultra Prism, or sorry, not Ultra Prism, Lost Thunder. I didn't change the title of this one. But another set that is like a $400 plus booster box. It's got a lot of great cards, including these Rainbow Lugias and Swicoons and Mimikyus, a bunch of cards in here. So there's a lot of cool cards in Lost Thunder. So now back to Chilling Rain. Right now, you're getting a set with literally tons of cards, which we're going to look at on the next slide. Tons of cards that are worth a lot of value. The artwork is absolutely incredible on it. And you can buy a booster box still for like $145, which is absolutely insane to me. So I am just like ultra high on Chilling Rain. I definitely want to be buying a few more booster boxes before these start to spike in price. They're still on Pokemon Center for MSRP which is in that like $143 range, I believe. Uh, look at all these cards in Chilling Rain. The Blaziken VMAX, I got to pull that one day because I think the artwork is spectacular. I pulled the Galarian Moltres V. I pulled the Snorlax. I, I haven't pulled the Zorora V uh, or the Zapdos or the Ice Rider or the Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. 
But then you also have the Articuno, which is really cool. You got the Rapidash. You got the Slow Poke or the Slow, not the Slow Poke, the Slow King. Um, tons of cool cards in Chilling Rain, which I think over time are just going to be driving the Chilling Rain booster box up because people like it. So back one more time, we got $144 for a Chilling Rain booster box right now. How can you go wrong with that? Okay. Uh, moving forward a little bit, we got the Crown Zenith ETB down over the last three months by 12.2%. And I haven't been to the stores in the last week or so, but last time I was there, you could still find it at my local stores like GameStop, Walmart. You could find these Crown Zenith booster boxes kind of for like MSRP. So you're not getting a great deal on them, but you're not overpaying for them either. Considering that the Pokemon Center exclusive Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Box Plus is already at like $120, which is absolutely nuts, but those sold out right quick. The regular ones, uh, Crown Zenith print run is over to my knowledge. There's nothing else after that shiny Zamazenta and shinyization. Uh, those were the premium collection boxes. So now we are like full force into Scarlet and Violet from my knowledge. I haven't heard anything about reprints at all. So Crown Zenith ETBs, it's just such a fun set to open. So many good cards. And uh, I mean, I think people are just going to look back at, with Crown Zenith being like the eclipsing moment of Sword and Shield. It's the last specialty set and just the hit rates are ridiculously fun. Okay, we're almost done. We got talking about Fusion Strike. The reason this is on my list is still because I had mentioned it last month, but look at this. If you didn't see this, then you just haven't been paying attention to Pokemon. But it was about a month and a half ago that this news broke that there was stealing of Fusion Strike cards. Look at those fat stacks of the Espeon VMAXs. The Gengar VMAX Alt Arts is in the bottom right corner. The Mew VMAX, uh, the Inteleon VMAX, like all of these cards. And Pokemon came out with a statement that was like, oh, yeah, it didn't affect the pull rates, blah, 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 blah. And then I just don't think that is telling the full truth. I think that this is actually causing a little bit of a wave in Fusion Strike. That's just my personal opinion. I have nothing to back it up. It's just an opinion. But look at this, the Espeon VMAX. Right before this was happening, this card was dropping. It hit a low of like 130 um, something dollars. I think it was like $132. And then ever since then, it's kind of just been going back up. And now it has come back up to like 150 something dollars, uh, back down a little bit. But it uh, has rebounded nicely since that news broke. Speaking of that news breaking, the Gengar VMAX has just been going absolutely ham since that news broke. Even before that a little bit, uh, three months ago, it was at $155 card. Now it has just eclipsed $200. So it's above $200. And I think... Those two cards specifically are definitely going to be driving the price of Fusion Strike up moving forward because it's definitely another one of those like middle to upper tier classes of booster boxes sets in Sword and Shield. Okay, two more to look at. The Silver Tempest booster box. Uh, the reason this is on my list, first of all, is because it's already starting to go up. I have not heard a single thing from channels that I watch uh, I don't have a distributor yet for Pokemon, so I don't actually have like the true knowledge. But from what I've been watching online from other uh, Pokemon people that I follow on the YouTube and stuff, I have not heard a single thing about reprints, uh, Silver Tempest, Lost Origin, Astro Radiance, Brilliant Stars. There was like a peak at maybe there's some uh, elite trainer boxes coming for those sets, but nothing that I've heard from booster boxes. So because Silver Tempest, it has this card to it, the Lugia V Alt Art, which is actually on a downward trend right now a little bit. It's down 10.8% over the last three months. But I think just because this card is so gorgeous and so big, people went crazy over this card as the set came out. I think that this card is going to be driving the Silver Tempest booster box up over time. Just because this card already is like still a $170 card and literally this set is like, less than six months old. Maybe it's crossed six months. Yeah, I think it has crossed six months now, but it's not that old. Uh, so I think that card is going to do some big things. So this leads me to my last, my final, my number one pick for my May 2023 sealed product investing video. Of course, it's lost origin booster box. This thing is going up. It's up 21.4% over the last three months from $137.30 to $166.69. Here's the reason. 
this is the only reason why I think Lost Origin. Actually, two reasons. I should backtrack. Number one, Lost Origin is one of my favorite sets. I think it's like a top three set in Sword and Shield, maybe behind Evolving Skies and Crown Zenith. Other than that, I think Lost Origin is amazing. I like the trainer gallery. I like the big cards it brings. I like everything about this set, especially this stinking card that I need to pull, uh, the Giratina V Altar. Look at how this thing has been been growing it is up 13.4 percent over the last three months it has eclipsed 300 dollars. now it's at 324 dollars 55 cents absolute ludicrous for a set that is less than a year old and it has a 300 something dollar card already i can't believe it i want to pull it so badly um and i think that this card can just continue driving lost origin up unless there's a big reprint of lost origin uh, which is a chance I'm willing to take. I'm definitely going to be adding a couple more Lost Origin booster boxes into my repertoire uh, this month. I actually am going to be placing an order here this week to grab a couple more. They are still available on Pokemon Center at the time of recording this. So that is my recommendation. Again, this is not at all financial advice. I'm just looking at the markets, telling you my speculation, giving a few comparisons, and it's just my opinion, really. I hope you enjoyed it, and now I'm going to open some Lost Origin, trying to pull this stinking card because I need it in my life so bad. I'm going to flip the screen around and see you on the other side. Okay, seriously, let me know what you think. Uh, do you like what I talked about in this video? Do you think that I'm out to lunch? Do you think that there's better things to invest in? A lot of people have been talking about that Charizard UPC and the Arceus UPC. I've talked about it in like the last two investing videos, so I just decided to leave it out this video. It seems like it's just... I mean, I think it's still a good deal, but there's a time and a place for not talking about it anymore too. So let's just uh, pull this Giratina once and for all. Seriously, can you imagine? That would be like the most epic thing of my life. I would absolutely lose my mind. Um, but seriously, I think, ooh, Gallade V, that is a nice start, baby. Come on, nice. I have never pulled this card and it looks absolutely sick. Let's go. TG number uh, 19. Nice. I love it. Okay, uh, what was I saying? I seriously think that Giratina is literally going to drive the price of Lost Origin up a lot. Um, plus, there's some other good cards. Like, there's the Gold Giratina, there's the Aerodactyl Alt Art, the uh, <clears throat> Galarian Berserker is a really cool looking card. There's some cool cards in Lost Origin. I think it's really good. We got a Radiant Hisuian Sneasler. All right, so we got two hits out of uh, two packs, which way better than my Wednesday video. That I can tell you that for sure. Um, nothing out of the regular set, but a Trainer Gallery and a Radiant card, so I will take it. Okay, also, I'm really curious to know, what did you think of my comparisons, like, um, Chilling Rain to Lost Thunder, and uh, what's the other one I compared it to? I can't even remember. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but um, I don't know. Like, I think Chilling Rain is like a middle to upper tier set that is just going to really do well as time passes on. Um, there's just so many good cards in Chilling Rain, and the chase is real. Like, they're hard to pull, which makes it all the more fun, really. Um, so... It'll be interesting to see. Same with Fusion Strike, especially after that uh, uh, scandal. Oh my goodness, we got a chance at it. Come on, baby. Three, two, one. Delphox. I mean, it's still a full art, but the Silver Borders, man, my heart is skipping a beat. That is okay. We are on fire today. We got three pulls out of like not very many packs. That's actually a really cool looking card. The Delphox. Um, Speaking of, Delphox was, the Fennekin was, um, was on Community Day in Pokemon Go just this last week. I caught a shiny one, and it looks really cool, actually. I love shiny Pokemon. That is the whole reason I play Pokemon Go. Uh, don't care about, like, the power and the battles and stuff, just care about the collection. Kind of like what I care about for Pokemon cards as well, so not too shabby. Come on, I gotta pull that Giratina one day. One day. Come on, baby. I love this Pikachu too, it looks awesome. 
Zororark V. I almost just choked on that one. I just kept on uh, going at it. Didn't even give it a countdown, but any chance you get to uh, put a sleeve on a card is good by me. Man, we're kind of on fire right now out of these 10 packs. If I could open them. Um, are you as high on Lost Origin as I am? Let me know in the comments below. I think it's awesome. Also think Crown Zenith is awesome. And seriously, like big news that came out as I'm recording this is that uh, Miss Fortune Sisters, man, we are on fire. Rainbow card. I just didn't even see it coming. And then we get the rainbow. My goodness, on absolute fire. Five pulls out of uh, seven packs. And pretty nice pulls too. I have no idea. Oh, what was I talking about? I'm talking about the new Obsidian Flame. Big news that came out this week uh, with the pre-order stuff. It's on, uh... I didn't think my camera was on for a second. But the pre-order stuff is on Pokemon Center. It came out, when this video dropped, it came out yesterday. And that is pretty exciting. I love the Charmander on it. I love the promo card on the Charmander. And I think that anytime you got a Charizard card coming out in a Pokemon set, there's good things to be had. So I think that's pretty exciting. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to getting into some Paldea Evolved as well, uh, which is just right around the corner because it's felt like a really long time since Pokemon has released a new set. Even though it's like standard, it's been like three months or whatever it's been. Uh, Scarlet and Violet has felt like a very long time. So, this is our last pack. If you have anything to share, let me know in the comments. I'm still reading them all. I'm still responding, them to, responding to all of them. So just let me hear it for sure. This is the last card in three, two, one. Vile Plume Regular Hall. All right, check this out. Out of five packs, there is zero complaints from me, except that we didn't get the Garatine. Got the Zoroark V, the Full Art Delphox V, a very, very cool art card. Uh, Radiant Hisuian Sneasler, the Rainbow Misfortune Sisters, and the Glade V, Trainer Gallery. Not bad at all. That is going to do it for me at the Pokey Office. My name is Colin. Thank you so much for watching. One more time, if you aren't subscribed yet, do that now with bell notifications on because I'm coming at you with fresh Pokemon content Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays every single week. Uh, hit the like button for me so it gets out to more people and leave a comment. Whatever you want to tell me, just let me know and I will respond to you. Read it and love it. Absolutely. Until my next video, peace.